It's a very interesting discussion this morning with a lot of companies in biotech talking about how the IRA, the Investment uh, Act, is going to impact potential investment in biotech. What are you seeing? And are you seeing that, that looming pressure of potentially having their prices cut by Medicare already impacting investment? Well, I think this conference is about biotech investment, really early stage. It's so the real research to commercialization path, and so pretty early on. So the more exciting part of the Inflation Reduction Act for this, for this group is, is the money going to fund fundamental research. And one of the things the United States has that really is second to none is that fundamental research platform in, in the IRA. It, it gives more money, and so there's moves going on to try to land that money by all the states, including Massachusetts community here and Ann Kablansky and the team at Mass General, which is one of the great research platforms. So it's more about that. It, it, there are large companies here, but more it's about these companies. And their problem is, is are the capital markets going to go open back up and provide equity capital for And are them? you seeing that? Because we haven't seen many IPOs. So I think three this year so far. Yeah. So we're just, but that's... With anything else, as the economy stabilizes, as a view of rates stabilizes, as people sort of take, the, take stock of what ha happened over the last couple of years, and then it'll get back in track. And there's big pipelines. These are exciting companies. Tom Sheehan and the team and Leeds Investment Bank, he's a, he grew up in healthcare, and, and they're just wonderful companies. And that's why we're here is to help them think through that process of where they are to where they got to get to. You talked about as the economy opens up, we've got the Fed meeting starting tomorrow. They're expected to announce a decision on Wednesday. Where do you think they should go? Should they pause at this meeting? And does the economy really depend on that, do you think? It depend on it. I mean, we're the big American economy. It should never depend on the incremental decision by one party in it. But the Fed's uh, decision on rates is a good view of whether they're taming inflation. So they needed to tame inflation, and that was a serious issue. If you look at what's happened, you're seeing the initial inflation tip over and start to come down. It's not over. It's, it's still too high relative to the long-term target of two. And, but our teammates think that the, the current rate environment basically holds. It maybe goes up a little bit more some time during this year, meaning the Fed funds rate. And then they start cutting rates in March of next year because they've won the battle on inflation. But they say that the inflation target still takes all the way through next year and to get closer where they want it. And that's so do you do. see them pausing, skipping, and then raising again? There, there's a lot of views, and when you talk to the Fed over the years, as I've been CEO now, it's my 14th year, so I've had a lot of conversation with, is everybody thinks that there's some you know, master plan, or there are targets, but they do it very much data dependent, and they use that word often, which is mean they're looking at the circumstances. If you look at the circumstances right now, the labor market's gotten a little less tight, the uh, inflation addition is down, the, they've got to measure the uh, impact of all the things that have gone on as it goes through. So I've used the example in 1984, Paul Volcker paused after the failure of Continental, uh, Continental Illinois to make sure the disruption, because you've seen lending capacity in the bank industry come down. And so, and they pulled deposits out of the industry by design, and that's what's going on. That's why deposits shrunk. So I think they could take a pause on that, and I think it, it, most people think they will. That's the, what the market's saying. But they can't say I'm done because they don't know, because they need the next set of data. Brian and, and Kelly, Kelly wants here. to jump in here. Kelly? Bertha, thank you so much. And Brian, it's good to see you again. You just actually raised the point I was going to ask about where we saw Ray Dalio this morning commenting that, of course, at some point we're going to have a financial crisis or the Wall Street Journal writing that Powell has to decide between fighting inflation and, and maybe facing, uh, you know, kind of a, a bank uh, uh, event, if you will. Um, you sound on the one hand concerned that we should be taking it more seriously, but on the other hand saying it's not going to be systemic enough. Uh, that we can keep resuming the inflation fight. And I just wonder if you can elaborate a little bit on that and, uh, and which one the Fed should, should give more weight to right now. Well, I think in the end of the day, we have a recession predicted for starting the third quarter, fourth quarter, and first quarter of next year. Uh, it's a mild recession, and that's largely because the amount of stimulus that was put in the economy in connection with the pandemic, and it, both fiscal and monetarily, and rates were held low for a good period of time, and are only adjusting that out of the system. So, but the strength of the American consumer, if you look at our consumers, they are still growing spending, albeit a, at a 3 to 4% rate versus a 9 to 10% rate, which they would have been last year versus the year before. And so the economy is slowing down. They're guiding it down. Will be a soft landing. Our economists think it'll be a recession, uh, but a, a mild recession. 
and unemployment moves up you know, in the mid fours, and that, but that used to be full employment, honestly, so it's not quite the disruptive thing. Now, will that have an impact on all the economy, and will that ultimately have an impact on financial services? Of course it does, but the reality is, is that it's really going to come down to if people are employed and people are spending a little bit more, companies will have revenue and they'll be okay. And what you're seeing is that's happening, and you're also seeing the impact on inflation appears to be enough now that they're winning the battle against the American consumer, which is a hard thing because they're very good at spending money and they continue to spend a lot of money.